Yeah. So that means she has to be in the front. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start marching it out. forward 
and then step back. Try to keep your head up, eyes forward. Try to just think about what your body is doing, what your feet and legs are doing. Three more. Three, two, heels first, down, get your heels down. Good, bend toes, march it out. Let's get a little skip in here. So it's, reach up. So it's a little up, good. Now, if you have any foot, toe, you know, lower body issues, you can just, you know, come up on your toes. You can take that little jump out and go up on the toes. If you can, though, get that little, that little skip in there. That helps just work on some power. Getting those muscles moving quickly. You never know when you need to get your body moving fast. Reach up. Woo, get that heart rate up too, huh? I know, I breathe. Last one. March it out. Take a deep breath in. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, deep breath in. And out. One more time. Keep breath in. And out. Good. And let's just reach for those toes. Lift your leg up. Toes to the ceiling. Reach for the opposite toe. Opposite. Yeah. Right to left. Left to right. Reach across the body. There you go. <laughs> Core tight as you lift that leg. Opposite there. Opposite. <laughs> Last one. Arch it out. All right, let's do one more deep breath in through the nose. And out. Keep marching, scissor those arms up, and scissor down. Alternate one arm over the other. Again, and scissor up, and one more time, last one. Good, and four, three, Two, one. Good. Deep breath in and out. And again, deep breath in and out. Good. All right. We're just going to go ahead and get started. We're doing everything today with the band. All right, let's see. Okay, so I think we did something like this last week. Wrap your band around your right hand. You're anchoring that arm right out. So we don't need to raise the arm. The arm is straight out from the body. Shoulder is down and nice and stable, right out in front, in front of the body, okay? I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me, and you're going to grab the band with your left hand, palms facing the floor, not up or sideways, and we're going to work those triceps. So your arm is going to be out to the side, and we're going to keep our arm locked and press down and back, and bring it up. So. Try to start with some tension here. Try not to start like this, okay? So you want to start hand about your chest, about chest high, elbow at your side, arm out at 90 degrees, start here. Yep, don't start down here because you're pulling down. You gotta start up by your chest and pull down and back. Good, down and back. 
Try to pull the band behind you. <laughs> Just a little bit. Try to pull that band behind your body. Take your arm behind your body. So you really get to feel that contraction in the back of the upper arm. Those triceps. Gives those arms a nice toned appearance and they're good for pushing. Pushing open doors, pushing things closed. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Good, and let's switch. So we're going to wrap the band around our left hand, grab the band, Right arm is locked at your side. And anchor this left arm right out from the shoulder. Really get your shoulder blade, your shoulders down and stable. So that's the other thing. You're working your tricep, but you're also working your shoulder stability by pulling on it. And palm facing the floor, and you're gonna press down and back. Good. Try not to have slack or too much slack at the top. Try to keep it a little taut at the top. And breathe. Shoulders down. Three, two, one. Good. Woo. Roll it out. So both arms are, you have one work and the other stabilizing. So you're really working both together. All right. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead, take the band up overhead, pull downs. So start, your arms are right about shoulder height or shoulder width. No slack. So the band should not look like this. Okay, ready? You're gonna pull it down. Bend your elbows, pull them into the side. Good, and pull it down. You can always take more band if you want to have more resistance. Arms together and then bring them wide. Bring your elbows down to the body. Squeeze your back muscles together, right to the top of the chest. Don't need to bring it down to the belly. It's right to the top of the chest. Three more. Three, two, one. Good. And shake it out. All right. We're going to stand on the band. Legs wide, and you want the band <clears throat> tight. <clears throat> and we're going to do side bends. So remember, you want to stay up nice and straight. Imagine there's a, you're between two very narrow walls. If you go forward, you're going to hit your head. All right, let's go to the right. Bend to the right. These should still be tight. You should not go slack. So if they go slack, grab more band. Pull up from your left side. Now go to the left. Good, and pull up from the right. And bend, stay up straight. Stay up straight and just go to the side. There you go. And up, and to the right, and left. Right, so you're pulling up on the opposite side. I'm pulling on my right side right now. And now I'm pulling the left. Good. To the side. You're just going from the waist up. Everything else, waist down, should be quiet, still, and breathe. We're going to do two more on each side. One, 
two. Good. And step off. All right, one more, and then we're going to do these again. All right. Um, put your right, you're going to step with your right foot on the band and have the band come to the outside of the right foot. To the outside, switch it around, of the right foot. Take it across the foot. You're going to take your arm out to the side. And again, working your shoulder stability. Your arm is out, shoulder height, and we're going to curl it in. Take your hand towards your shoulder, bicep curl. Keep your elbow pointing out to the side. Extend your arm and bring it hand to the shoulder. There should be um, no slack on this band at any time. Should be nice and tight. One more time. Good. And switch. So just flip it over. Step on with your left foot, bring it over the left foot. And grab the band, arm out. Again, shoulder down, you're standing up straight, your core is engaged, and bring that hand towards the shoulder. You can flip the band so it's like right in the back of your wrist, so it stays there. Keep your shoulder blades engaged. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. <laughs> All right, let's do these four one more time. So we're going to start with the band wrapped around our right, hand, our right hand. Arm is out in front, shoulder height. You're going to grab the band in your left hand. Elbow down, um, elbow is right at your side. Your arm is locked at your side. Grab more band, more. Grab more, <laughs> up, higher. Oh, up higher. Make it tighter. Yep. So your, and your hand should be right about chest high. Arm is out, shoulder blades squeeze, and you're going to press down and back. Good. So if you can, try not to let the band go slack. It should still be a little taut right here. Four more. Three, two, one. Good. Woo. Wrap around the left hand. Arm is out. Same thing. Elbow by your side. Switch arms. Wrap it around your left. Ready? And press down. Press down. Straighten the arm and pull it behind you. Should feel the back of your upper arm working. We got all winter to get those arms toned for next year. Four, three, two, one. Good. Woo. Shake it out. All right. Grab the band, kind of about shoulder width. You don't want this, okay? So you, you want, so when your arms are out, the band, it doesn't have to be tight, tight, but there's no slack. Take your arms up, slight um, slightly in front of your body. Maybe arms are about where your ears are. Pull it down, bring your elbows by your side. 
Good, right to the top of the chest. Working those back muscles. Three more. Three, two, one. Good. All right, band down on the floor. You're going to step on it with your right foot, bring the band on the outside of the right foot. Other way. Take it in your left hand. Your arm is out. Again, you've got to stabilize this left shoulder. So arm is out. Bring your hand towards your shoulder. Keep your arm up. just one side of the band, or you can do it without a band, okay? You're still doing lunges, you're still working your legs, okay? So three levels, no band, one side of the band, or both ends of the band. So right foot on the band, you're going to grab down again by your knees, so grabbing way far down. You always want the weight, you do not want to put weight on the forward toes. So we're going to start in an upright position. 
chest lifted. Remember, keep your chest lifted when you lunge down. Eyes are forward. And that right foot is your power foot. Make sure you're pushing through the heel or use the whole foot, not just the toes. We're going to come down, bend the back knee, and then you're going to come up. Come down. If you want, you can grab a little bit more band and come up. It's as if you're, you're bent down, you're lifting something off the floor. Keep your chest lifted, eyes forward. Three more, three, two, one. Good, all right, let's switch. Grab way far down, near your knees or even below your knees a little bit. And here we go. Come down, grab a little bit more band, and come on up. Chest stays lifted. Just two more. One. Two. Good. All right. Keep you hold on to your band. We're going to step on the band. And we're going to grab that band again, down by your knees. You're going to stand up. So the band should help pull your shoulders down. We don't want our shoulders up to our ears. Keep your feet hip width apart. So if your feet are together, loosen the band. Get your feet hip width apart. <coughs> we're going to walk to the side. We're going to take four steps to the right. Do not bring your feet together. You'll take the slack up and it will get very hard to push the band out with your foot. So keep your feet about hip width apart. Make sure you have room to move to take steps to the side. We're going to start by going to the right for four steps. Ready? Push it out. One, two, three, and back. And Two, three, four. Good. And again, we're going to do this three times. So that was one. Three. One more step. Back, four, three, two. One more time. To the right, four, three, two, one. And back, four, three, two, one. Good. Step off. You should have felt that in your hips and your glutes. Yeah, right here. Gluteus medius, right on the side. All right. Um, again, you're going to step on the band with your right foot, have the band come over the outside of the foot. Right foot. And take the band in your left hand. Just one side, just one end on the outside. Take the outside band. All right, so you're in a split stance. Give yourself some band. You definitely don't want this one tight. So this is a little bit more of like an arc. So we're going to bring our arm across the body and shoulder height, okay? Really focus on using those shoulders. So we're going to bring it up and then down. So the hand comes right back to about the front of the thigh. Bring it up. Good. Bring it up. outside of the foot and grab with your right hand. 
So remember, it's kind of like an arc movement. No need to take it up to here. You're just bringing it to shoulder height. Ready? And bring it up. We're going to start with the lunges, right foot on the band, so make sure your arch is over the band. Grab way far down to your knee or even lower, depends on how much resistance you want. Remember you can do one end of the band, you can hold it in one hand and have your hand um, near your chair for balance or you can do it without the band as well. So all kinds of options. Big step back. All right, remember you want to keep this knee over your laces and behind the top of your, the tips of your toes. Don't let your knee go past the toes. Ready, standing up straight. We're gonna come down, grab more band if you want, and then come up. Good. Breathe. Push up through the heel. Core engaged when you come down and up. Three more. Three, two, one. Good. And switch. Switch. Legs. And here we go. Come on down. You can grab more band if you want. When you come down, take up the slack a little. Pushing up through the heel. That gets you using those glutes and hamstrings a little bit more. And six, five, four. Arms stay still. Three, not moving the arms. Two, one, good, all right. Step on the band with both feet. Have your feet hip width apart. Remember, you wanna keep space between your feet, otherwise it's gonna get hard real fast in trying to push that band. All right, we're gonna start by going to the right, four steps. Ready? Push it out. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. And back again. One, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one. One more time. Four, three, Two, one, four, three, two, one. You got them too close together. <laughs> I didn't have much band. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Step on the band. Here it is. Last one. Step on the band with your right foot. Have the band come on the outside of the foot and across the foot. And then grab with your left hand. Stand up straight. And again, you're making that arc movement. Ready? And bring it up. Just bring your arm out to shoulder height. Focus on squeezing these muscles behind your shoulder and the upper back. Four more. 
four, three, pull it back, two, so you get a little stretch in the front also. One, good, flip it over, switch legs, take it in your other hand. Left foot, other way, yeah. Flip the band around and take it in your other hand. All right, ready? Here we go. Breathe. As you lift, your core should engage, kind of keeping you from arching your back. And we're not using our upper body to help. Three more. Three, two, one. Good. All right. You can put this to the side. And we're going to start stretching it out. I didn't bring water. Okay. Quick sip of water if you need it. All right. Let's take a big step back with the right leg. Heels down on the floor and push that back heel to the floor. Make sure your left knee is slightly bent, weight towards the heel of your left foot. Bring your body up nice and straight and push your back hip forward. Try to come up straight, pull yourself up, pull up. You can even pull yourself back just a little bit, getting this hip forward. You should feel a stretch in the front of the hip. And breathe. Good, let's take that back leg out in front. Heel down, toes up. So right leg, we're still working the right leg. Right leg out in front. Pull the toes to the ceiling. You can reach for the toes if you want, get a little deeper. Bill, bring your feet a little closer together. There you go. And make, you can always hold on to the chair if you need to. Core engaged here. In this position, you want to support that lower back, so core tight. Good. Come on up, and we're going to switch legs. So left leg back, heel down on the ground. Get that back foot straight so your toes are all going forward, your hips are closed, everything's going straight ahead not open and push your heel to the floor this knee stays over your ankle and pointing over your laces Good, bring your body up nice and straight, all the way up, and push that hip forward. Bring your shoulders back, pull your shoulder blades back, and stand up straight. Again, you can slightly hinge back from the hips, get the stretch a little deeper. Now just take that back foot up and out in front and sit back. Pull your toes to the ceiling and if you want you can reach for the toes. And come on up. 
Good. Um, let's get your yoga strap. So a couple, a few ways that you can do this stretch. We're going to stretch out the quads, the quadriceps, the top of the thigh. Get behind your chair. Get right behind your chair or the bar. You can either, if you can, you can grab your foot and just bring up. You can grab a pant leg or you can use the yoga strap, put it around your, down by your foot, and you can use the strap to pull your leg up. So whatever works for you. Keep your knees together. Both knees are still pointing to the ground. Do not have your leg out like this or lifting in front. You want up nice and straight. So you should feel a stretch in the top of that thigh. <laughs> Good, and switch. Remember, you can if you just put the strap down right close to the foot, in front of the near the ankle, you can just lift. You can use the strap to lift your leg up. Stand up straight. Knees next to each other and point your knee. The knee should be pointing to the floor, not up in front. And up nice and straight. Good. We'll take that off. Let's take the, the strap in the right hand, drop behind you, and grab and pull down. So we're lifting our right elbow to the ceiling. You're trying to bring your right hand to that space between your shoulder blades. So we're stretching out the tricep. Shoulders down. Drop your shoulders. Take it out from us. You're not using your feet. <laughs> and then pull up. <laughs> Good. Just switch hands, drop behind you. Grab the strap. This, you should be holding the strap with both hands in a loop and pull down with your right, lifting your left elbow to the ceiling. <clears throat> and then bring it up. Good, and relax. And let's just roll the shoulders back a little, just release it. Kind of swing the arms a little bit, right over left, left over right. Let's get some nice deep breaths in. Take a deep breath in through the nose, into the belly, and exhale. Push it all out. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale to the belly, and exhale. Thank you. Have a great day. Cheers.